All right, let's see what else we can do here. Can we find a gemstone here? Hmm. You toss the brooch into the beaker. Okay, so far so good. Uh, what else can we toss into it? Will this flower do? You toss the sickly yellow flower into the beaker. <clears throat> Let's the read that again. The ancient, the ancient, the first. All right, uh, crystal green. Um, make sure what. Till they, till they, um, <sighs> heat a blue mineral and a yellow vegetable. Okay, I obviously need to heat it up, but how? Um, how do I heat it up? Um, These are when lit, this device heats the beaker and any contents that it contains. A wick leads into the base, which is made of flint stone. Okay, maybe maybe I can light that flint stone. Maybe. Nothing happened. There's no reason for you to. All right, there's got to be a way to light this up. Um... You can't use that. All right, figure out what else I can use here. As you had been expecting, this is your average, ordinary. You have better things to do than to try. You have, there is nothing. You never did pay much attention during magic classes at Daventry High School. As a result, nothing in these books will help you. You never, you never, you have. Hey, control yourself. You might have children someday, and they won't benefit from a father with embarrassing habits. Okay, thanks for the good advice there. You run your hand over the... You run... The scroll is nailed to the wall. What's the scroll say? A, a neatly displayed scroll hangs on the wall. However, its archaic symbols and wording will forever remain a mystery to you. You hear footsteps approaching. Okay. Uh-oh. Great. Uh -oh. The magician. The enchanter. The enchanter. He twirls his hands and then utters some words under his breath. You feel a tingling sensation all over your body as the enchantment transforms you into whatever he desires. Uh oh. What are you going to transform me into? A kitty cat! Well, at least a nice. Enchanting encounter. Enjoy the rest of your life as his pet. Well, at least it was. I didn't turn into a pig this time. Now, what could I do to heat up? Moon lit. Unfortunately, you cannot cast fire from your fingertips. All right, how do I cast fire on that thing? Um, this item cannot be used. Nothing happened. What am I supposed to use? I use a metal you strike sword? the blade of your sword Aha! With a flint stone it sparks yes. and the wick catches a light nice now it's going to start melting let's get the uh, flower you toss the sickly yellow flower into the beaker you watch okay. fascinated as the two unlikely objects melt under All the, right. of the magical flame starting to melt all right, now stir it up with a f with a feather. A little bit of alchemy at work here. You stir the mixture carefully with a white feather. It okay. soon dissolves in the hot liquid. The contents of the beaker have melted into a thick greenish liquid. All right, now I have to use a spell. The time is not right. Okay. You flip through the. the I have to read, heed now these words, crystal, perfect, green is thy hue, restore correct, guard well my form, preserve, protect. Drop, drop this into a perfectly clear crystal, then recite. Okay, 
perfectly clear crystal. <clears throat> Where am I going to find a perfectly clear crystal? The ancient you flip the. Okay, firstly, heat a blue mineral and a yellow vegetable. A plant is an acceptable alternative. Together until they coagulate into a greenish liquid. Stir the mixture with a white feather. Drop into this. Drop into this a perfectly clear crystal. You will now have the means of. Okay, <clears throat> can I start uh, reading it? The contents of the beaker have melted into a thick greenish liquid. Okay. It would be best not to remove the beaker from its stand. Okay. The time is not right. You okay. get no reply. Alright. Uh what now? You flip through the book the first A number of Don't bother trying to move there is you approach the workbench. Uh what am I supposed to do now? Uh light the candles? Uh, let's examine some more. Ah, <sighs> let's see. Maybe I can light a candle. You can't use that. You can't. The contents of the be the workbench feels smooth and clean. Not an ounce of dust is present. It would be best not. The time is not right. You get no. Re okay, I have to figure out something else. You never did. You have been. You run your. There is. There is. You approach. Perfectly clear crystal. You have already added a blue mineral to the mixture. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, wait, wait a second. What's this? It is a simple but carefully woven pendant of seagrass. A shiny opal dangles from it. Nothing happens. That's obviously not good. You think that this vial can the contents of the beaker have melted into a thick greenish liquid. Be careful, or you will burn yourself, Graham. Someone might notice if you moved them. The time is not right. You flip the f Drop this into a perfectly clear crystal. Where are we going to find a perfectly clear crystal? Nothing. I can't use this. Nothing. No, I can't use that. Some incredibly valuable furniture has been placed here. You wonder how it is protected against the elements, as there are no obvious means of sealing the cave. You have better. There is nothing. Don't bother. You never did. You have better. There is. There is. There is nothing for you. Don't. You cannot remove. You run your hand. Let's see our progress.
save this as green liquid. Green potion. Green liquid. Now, the, now, after, now that we've got the liquid all boiling, what we need to do is examine our sword. This is the sword of the first king of Daventry. It dates back almost yes, we know 1, that. thousand years and has been passed down from king to king since that time. Try not to damage it. A magnificent clear okay. crystal is embedded within its hilt. Okay, now I'm going to examine our sword. You feel the weight of your ancient weapon. It's amazingly light and cool to the touch. It may be just your imagination, but you think you can feel something radiating from it, like the presence of the many kings who have held it throughout the long centuries before you. Let's examine that crystal. You feel the okay, see if I can detach it. It is heavy. With a hammer, maybe. You managed to dislodge yes. the crystal that had been set exactly. the hilt of the sword almost a millennium ago. You feel a tinge of guilt and wonder what all the past monarchs of Daventry would say if they saw you damaging ancient crown property. No choice now. Drop it into the liquid. You drop the crystal in and watch, amazed, as the green ah. liquid slowly seeps into it. Now use a spell. Heed now these words. Here Crystal, we go. Perfect. Green is thy hue. Yes. Restore. Correct. Guard well my form. Excellent. Preserve. Protect. Protect. You recite the words correctly, line for line, and sure enough, only a brilliant emerald remains in the glass beaker. You quickly blow the flame out so as not to overheat the emerald and cause damage to it. Let's examine it. The beaker now holds a magnificent green emerald. Nice. Let's grab it. Making it up gingerly, you're amazed that the emerald took virtually no time at all to cool. Sweet. All right. Uh, save our progress. Uh, replace with emerald. Green emerald. Green stone. Examine it again. Your crystal has become a dazzling emerald. You sense magic in its refracted light. Sweet. Let's look at it. Examine it, it some more. Cool and smooth with sharp edges. All right. Let's rename that as emerald. Alright, we got the emerald. I guess we can move on. Nothing else to do here. We've done what we had to. Excellent. Mission accomplished. Ah! I used uh, hypnosis again on that snake. The snake cannot see the pendant from this side of the path. Will I be protected? Ah, damn it. The snake lashes out, striking with precision. Its lethal venom kills you instantly. Not good. Your history. All right. That wasn't such a good idea. How do I get out of here? Let's use the magic carpet. See if that works. There's not enough room to use the carpet here. Try walking in front of the rocks. All right, let's rock in, walk in front of the rocks. All right, let's do that. Now we're right. up, up, and away. You unroll the magic carpet, lay it on the ground, and sit on it. The carpet rises into the air again. The carpet begins to descend. Excellent. Mission accomplished.